So guys, uh, welcome back to the Test Robot Automation. Thank you very much for following my uh, video. The last video was really very, uh, very big, lengthy, and so much uh, things. So I explained you how to use the storage state, how to do the uh, chaining into the all the test cases, right? I hope you guys enjoyed the, that particular video. And yeah, today, pretty much as I uh, promised you regarding like, okay, we're gonna have some, uh, uh, some, uh, something like uh, CICD. So let's learn about the, that CICD. And before that concept, I would like to let you know one more thing is about uh, we are actually just using our Chromium browser, right? But instead of that, what we can do, we can use all the browser. And what we're going to do, we're going to split our test cases into each browser. Instead of running everything in one particular browser, uh, we can split all the test cases, right? So for now, I'm just taking all the uh, desktop browser. Uh, in the future, we're gonna again design one particular mobile test case and we can take uh, that particular browser as well. So let's do that. Uh, let's, uh, let's see how we can achieve this one. So uh, in the very beginning of this uh, session, I have explained this uh, uh, playwright config.json file very thoroughly okay so we're gonna use that logic itself only so here i have this uh ecom login right in here what i'm giving the graph is ecom okay right and okay let's do one thing leave this uh instead of giving to the uh describe block okay uh yeah, let, let it be ecom itself, okay? And um, then over here, we have this dashboard test case in which, uh, dashboard, okay, yes, dashboard test case in which we have a cart uh, chess in which we are giving uh, the, yes, it's a cart, right? cart and cart okay so let's see how we can achieve this one with our config.json files okay so let's do one thing on our chromium browser over here if i come here and give grab okay and in the this format i can say at the rate ecom Okay, so we have, or, or let me get a cart here, but a cart. Okay, so here uh, only uh, the cart page or test case will run on Chromium. Okay, then again over here, I will come here, give another grab, and uh, I will just gonna copy, comma, and what we have here is. Uh, Okay, we, we finished the cart, right? Let's go to the ecom login test case. Here we have is ecom, right? So I can go back to my playwright uh, config.json file and I can say at the rate ecom, right? Uh, I hope you guys are understanding what is ecom and everything. So if you don't know, if you are uh, if you are new here, then you just go and watch my previous video. It will be really um, explainable things. You could uh, you will be uh, uh, I have explained everything thoroughly over there. Okay, and if I go back, go so how many test cases we have? Ecom login, we have dashboard, and we have another uh, dashboard test case which is regarding the uh, changing of the name, right? Okay, let's change this to at the rate smoke, maybe. Yes, let's let's make it to sorry smoke. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy here and come back to my playwright config.json file. And here under WebKit, I will give the grab which is. Uh, at the rate, uh, to, 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 what we have here, yeah, at the rate, uh, sorry, what we put it here, 
actually okay snow okay right then what other test cases we have uh, we have grab uh, here we turn it as smoke and dashboard done and we also have a this login test case which is on a practice uh, page or something right and here also we are giving smoke instead of that we can give it as ui let's give it as ui okay we're going to give this as ui grab as a ui okay I think this is our last graph. So let's see our four browser only because yes. So graph and I will say at the rate UI. Okay. Pretty cool. Uh, now we can have what we're gonna do. We are just gonna comment this one. So we are not using this one, but now let's see the beauty. Now what we're gonna do, let's run uh, quickly run the test cases on our local and then we can we're gonna run in our pipeline so yeah two, two, two. where is it okay um, um, i've done lots of things after that so let's see uh yeah npx play write test hyphen hyphen Reporter equals to HTML. Okay, and uh, comma list. Okay, so let's see the beauty of our test cases. I think there will be error. Very good. What is the error? LNRYG. Okay, yeah, naming convention. <laughs> GHT is the error. Okay. Error is good. If you just go and read it, then uh, it's really good. So, look, our setup is done here. Okay. But, you know, why we put that, uh, uh, that setup test case over there so that we uh, we we don't get the issue. That's why what we can we did in setup test case we put the card. So our setup is only running in one particular which is a Chrome browser, Chromium browser. We don't need to run the setup in Firefox and other browsers because over there what we have kept is I think let's see yeah. Let's see. I think it will pass, but let's see. Okay, it's passing. All the test cases are passing, right? So we got 16 test cases, which is passing. Very nice. And if we see the report, you guys can see here. If I go and run the report here in my local, okay. Right, so look, these are on Chromium browser, then this is on Firefox browser, this is on WebKit browser, and these are on Microsoft Edge browser. So, this is the beauty of running the cross browser, cross browser testing in the Playwright. Okay, so we, we are, uh, I think that's it, that's a pretty much uh, I want to show about the cross browser testing. So, by giving uh, this grab op option here we can get all these things, right? And what we're gonna do, yes, let's leave it as it is and let's see if we have our kit initiated over here or not. So, git status. Okay, we don't have any git initiate. So let's do one thing first. Uh, let's come here to my GitHub account first. Where's my GitHub account? It's here. Oh, hey. Yeah, actually, I was had setting up this authentication and all this stuff. Let's do our automation. Okay. And come here. Let's go to the repositories and let's create the new repository uh, with the name of our uh, our project. So, what is our project name? Is Playwright Automation Framework. Okay. 
so let's create play right i think everything is small right let me just double check it because yes csd yes everything is in small so let's keep everything in small play right VHD automation frame work okay right it's public we just gonna say description say uh, test let's just write down test for now then we're gonna uh, detu it uh, maybe let's add the red uh, uh, read me fire I don't think we need this other things we just gonna click on create repository when I click on create repository <clears throat> okay then uh, first initial commit hold on committed so let's do one thing this is copy this okay and we're gonna take it from there so we have to first uh, do git in it so here we are initializing our git then what i have to do i have to do git add dot okay so this will add all the code into my repository only look i'm not uh, i'm not publishing the reports okay and i'm not also publishing the test reports or results right and uh, yeah let me just double check uh, the github workflow i think we gave it a yes over there yes github workflow everything is fine let's see now okay uh then what i'll do get in it git add and i want to do git commit iphone m and i will say this is my first commit okay and let just commit everything got committed see less and once i commit what i have to do i have to push right no first i have to make the remote uh, okay yeah i have to add this as a remote yes what i have to do is git remote add origin and i have to copy this over here and paste over here okay so when i paste it so this is actually adding my remote branch and now if i just do git push origin master okay so this will push all my code over here from here in my github and if i look click on this one it's already running my cicd is already running over here look installing the playwright browser okay right and uh, install the dependencies right run npm ci and all this where it is coming from everything so everything is coming from this particular yaml file okay so this yaml file is uh, giving us is doing all this magic uh, for us and this yaml file is already uh, given by the playwright guys okay uh, we can configure different different types of yaml file we can configure the yaml file with the circle ci and uh, uh, other other yaml files as well yeah uh, but this is actually given by the playwright okay and look Arbitrage case is running now. So if I just open here, where is it? Okay. Yes. Look. Right. Look. Six running sixteen test using one worker. So I think we have to we have to add more worker over here in our CI. Let's do it in the next fix. But yes, our test got cases got passed. Everything was fine. And if I go and click here under the test and uh, yes where is it under the test there should okay let me click on actions first okay and under this my this is my first commit which we committed it and under this test folder here okay there should be one particular 
artifact somewhere it is oh yes it's here look playwright report okay so this is artifact is already um, uploaded on, on the github and if i click on this artifact what it will do it will download here look okay it will download as a zip folder and if i just even uh, even this is also feasible right look when it run this is the time and look what is the time right now okay 2204 and it run on 20, 2202 right and it took almost like 43 seconds to finish all the test case and everything is running cross browser and everything is fine but our main goal is to deploy the report right uh yes our main goal, goal is to deploy the report how we can do the, the deployment so let's come here to playwright automation framework okay and before that for a prerequisite i have what i have done last time i have created this uh, test over automation uh, uh, in my last video i have shown you how to uh, create this particular uh, website using the netlify and if you have if you want uh, if you want you can watch that one so if i come here and click on the uh, click on this particular site so when i come here it i will be seeing something like this way like this page okay and if you click on sites and you come here to this particular site and after coming to this site there is one thing you have to search over here which is site id and if you click on this site information where you will find the site id okay so let's copy this id for now and what we're gonna do now come here and for now i will place this id uh, somewhere here okay for now and what else okay and what else we need is uh okay what i need to do i need to go to my user setting and i'm gonna type here saying token and i click on this person access token okay and here uh yes here i what i have to do i have to generate so this is my first access token which i have generated but i have to generate the new access token and I have to just give some information description about your token saying so i'm gonna uh, give it as a play right automation something automation yeah and let's use this as not no expiry we don't want expiry for this one and we just going to generate the token and we're gonna copy this token and for now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come here and okay let's token is a little bit yes okay no i'm gonna delete that or not okay so i i i i just gonna generate it and so what i've done i just put my site id and i just put my uh, access token over here right and yes so our netlify work is done i'm just going to come here to keep coming here okay that's it done and now what i'm gonna do i will go to my github going back to my github okay in my github in the setting column okay over here somewhere i should find secrets and variable okay and under actions okay i have to create uh, one new secret okay before doing this oh uh, yes i have to create one new repository secret so before doing this in which i have to add my secret id access token over here okay yes and before doing this what i have done um uh, so yes let me i've just actually done this uh to showcase you guys like okay how are we gonna do it so i've just created one more dummy project for this one so we're just going to bring the code from there and i will explain you thoroughly that code okay so if I go to my 
recent and if I go to my playwright this particular project okay and this is the circus here yaml file sorry this is a github actions yaml file control c and this i don't need this one so let me close it and go back to my this file okay i'm just going to copy remove it and paste it over here okay it's giving an error oh shit yes because what I have to do, I have to copy it like this way. Not paste it over here. Okay. So now let me explain you what I have, what is happening. What I'm saying, my name of the test case is Playwright Test. Okay. And on push, look on push, run the branch which is the main, and on pull we can configure here saying our pull request branch, something like that. Okay. Then. Uh, this is the uh, this uh, this is the thing. Run what we what I'm saying. Timeout, which is 60 minutes. It it takes 60 minutes to run this particular whole uh, uh, whole workflow. Okay. Then I'm saying uh, this is something which is uh, which Playwright guys have uh, uh, have defined action to check out with about version four and npm ci. So what I'm doing here from here I can take it. Okay. From here I have defined all these things, right? From so from here what I have done install the dependency run the npm ci okay and install the playwright browser okay what is npm ci is npm uh, npm install when when you do npm install in your machine similarly when you do a, in a server you have to do npm ci okay and then and what i'm done here is npm install the browser uh, np and install the playwright browser which is npx playwright install with in depths okay here i'm installing all the playwright browsers Right. Then what I'm doing here, uh, run playwright test, which is npx playwright test over here. Okay. And then I'm saying archiving all those uh, report. Okay. And what I have done here, like rather uploading to the GitHub. Right. Uh, what I have done, um, I have created this particular path. Uh, so all of our test cases are stored here. Right. Under the playwright reports. From this playwright reports. I'm deploying these reports to Netlify. Okay, look, these are the reports I'm deploying to Netlify. Okay, right. So this is it is right. I think I have already got all these things. What I have to do? Yes, I don't need. I so what I have to do? I have to take this particular name, Netlify auth token, and Control C here. And go to my github settings and here i have to click on new repository secret okay and uh, i'm gonna give this auth token over here and the one secret id which i which i generated from the netlify i just going to copy from here and put it here right okay i hope yes we have to see all the uh, indentation and everything okay and click on add secret okay right so this it is um, that's it and now I just need to remove this 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 okay that's it so this is my playwright commission so for just for your information let's go back to the netlify okay so the last uh, particular build which I, I sent to the Netlify, it just has this particular test cases, right? Has title. This is just a regular playwright based test cases. Okay. Now let's see when we push this particular code. Okay. So let me just put it aside. And you can see here test rover automation Netlify app, right? And these are all the things, right? And now let's do one thing when I push this particular code right and I come here after some time I come here and refresh it then I should see the new reports which we saw on uh, saw on our in our local right so let's do that one okay open the new terminal right and what we're going to do we're just going to do uh, yes just going to do git 
add path git commit hyphen m uh, add did report to netly phi okay then what's done okay and what i have to do is git push origin master right Just checking log time. Okay, right. It went, and now let's go back to our GitHub. And if I go to code, you see, guys, here this particular icon that where you have to click it, and you can see this our GitHub action is running. And if you click on this details, okay, you will see installing the playwright browser. I think it will go, it won't deploy in Netlify. You know what is the issue? We have to install the Netlify before doing anything to our project. So let's let this run and we do we're gonna do that particular step. Okay. Look, sometimes it happens, it happens, it happens. What I have to do, I have to install the Netlify in my project. Okay. So let's install the Netlify first in my project, then it will deploy because how Netlify will know where it is deploying. Still we're gonna see, keep an eye over here what is happening next. Running the test cases, look, running 16 test cases and we have to increase the worker. Actually it's only doing one worker. So I think what we're gonna do, let's do the worker option as well. So if I come here, config.json, and here I'm pro uh, providing the one worker instead of that I will just put it as undefined right so next time it will just uh, pick the regularly four workers in my build right and it won't take this much time to run here okay we are actually have to install the netlify okay so you know what is happening so this is the things the process environment.ci this is actually recognizing our uh, circles uh, circles yeah, sorry is server uh, server side so these when i'm providing the worker on this side it is actually recognizing uh, the local and this is recognizing the server okay i hope you understood and if you have any issue let me know i think everything is fine look our test case got failed why because we don't have a netlify here look the deploy error process complete we didn't have a netlify that's why it just got failed now let's see what happened after we deploy in netlify Okay, it's taking a long time. Guys, I have already uh, uh, given the Netlify dependency. So now if you come here in our data dependency, we have this Netlify CLI. Okay, so this will take take it from there. So now again, what I have to do, I have to again do git add and then what git commit and I will say added um, Netlify by CLI to my uh, to my GitHub uh, to my project right and what else that's it and I'm gonna push it to master okay so now see what is happening in our project if I go back to the code again here and if I come back here and click on this details and look we're gonna monitor this now so it's it will actually go and install the netlify uh in this uh, server as well okay it will take some time so please bear with me I think yes it's done
okay so let's see you see this log then you would know what is happening under the background process right so yes the major thing is we have to see the our deployment log and the test cases log log right look now well, this is actually installing the playwright chromium browser it is installing the uh, firefox browser installing the uh, yeah, webkit browser and all this thing and now it is running the test cases now when i do undefined it took two workers here look right before this it took so uh, only one worker and here it took two worker i hope this will pass i hope this will should be for fine oh, finger cross and yes i have to also provide you know uh, here i can what i can do okay pass wow i think it was we got deployed yes 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 we got deployed and yes so let's see where is our that particular test case here i just refresh it just set look at this beauty guys and now your reports are live so whenever you come here push anything watch anything okay you can uh you can get these reports uh in your netlify and okay, let me just close everything now because i think this is squaring lots and lots of ram right now in my machine okay okay actually log out my own github uh thing to showcase this one so let's see if i just go net leaf pi cli npm okay this is the one what i was using in my project right you can get this dependency from here and save it as a dev dependency okay look net leaf pi cli okay i hope you guys like this session right and we saw a complete end to end and we did this uh, uh pipeline thing which uh, with the github actions okay right and uh, we deploy our test case with the help of uh, of github actions and netlify and we did all this end to end testing i hope you like this whole video series uh, next it might be i will be uh, looking into playwright bdd framework as well as i'm learning right now the playwright component testing so me be uh, this whole series will be coming uh, like a whole uh, proper learning right okay and any questions anything anything you want to see like uh, maybe if you are struggling in something and uh, let me know if i can help you then yeah um, um uh, it would be really great so thank you guys thank you for uh, watching my videos and please subscribe my channel and uh, please uh, give some comments please guys i'm just asking the comments so thank you thank you for for watching this video bye